Although Codemasters has been doing the official F1 game since 2009, there has been always something wrong with the multiplayer part of their games and seems like the new F1 2021 release is no exception. But why is that none of the F1 games multiplayer have ever been loved by the gaming community? I'll try to explain that in this video. For that, I made a list of 4 problems that the new F1 2021 multiplayer has. The first problem is related to the lobby system on which the game multiplayer is based. To find a race, you need to find and enter a lobby first. This sounds very easy and very common, but becomes a complete mess when we are talking about the F1 2021 official video game, as well as the previous releases. Every time when you are trying to search for a ranked game, you either get in an empty lobby, meaning that you are the only person there, or you will get in a lobby in which the race has already been started. In this case, you'll have to wait some time until it ends, or you can watch it as well. There is also a chance that the lobby will not be found at all, and you'll be thrown back to the main menu. What I have just said isn't something that happens one or two times, it is something that happens approximately 80% of the time when you are trying to search for a race, making it extremely annoying. So why does it happen and how it can be fixed? I suppose that this happens mainly because the game online is just not that high, so it's really hard to find lobbies and especially keep them full. From my experience, there are usually less than 10 people in the lobby. What can the game developers probably do to fix this problem? Is to make the races start at a fixed time, like in Gran Turismo Sport, for example. The way it works there is that you have a race that takes place, let's say, every 20 minutes. This allows the players to know the exact time when the race will start and, as a result, really helps keep the lobbies full. Another issue about lobbies is that for some reason the mic is always enabled by default. It's been a couple of months since the release of the game and I still hear weird sounds coming from players' microphones, probably without them even knowing. Another problem of the F1 2021 multiplayer is the damage model of the cars. Here, I'm talking specifically about the rank multiplayer mode. For the ones I'm familiar, the damage settings in this mode are set to the realistic ones, meaning that all parts of your car are really fragile and can break even from insignificant contact with other cars. It means that you'll often find yourself in the situation when your front wing breaks in the first corner of the race, for example. Even if your car is just slightly damaged, it will drive significantly worse than normal and you'll probably need to go for a pit stop to get it fixed. Because the ranked races are typically 5 laps long, going for a pit stop will screw all your chances for winning the race as you won't have enough time to get close to the leader. From my experience, your car gets damaged nearly every second race, which is a lot. Of course, this was made to keep everything realistic, however, I think that the game multiplayer would benefit if the damage model would be made less strict or even totally removed. A nice solution, in my opinion, would be making the car auto repair itself 20 seconds after it was damaged, for example. This would remove the necessity of going for a pit stop and as a result, you'd have better chances to fight for the win. The penalty system in the F1 2021 game remains as bad as it was in the previous games. Like before, you received weird warnings for track limits, which do not have anything in common with the real tracks in real life. Another thing about the penalty system is that it doesn't really influence how the race continues in case of a contact with another car, for instance. If a guy receives a 2 second time penalty, those 2 seconds will be added to his race time by the end of the race, meaning that if he would like to hit you again, he will be able to do it right after he did it for the first time. The game won't make him slow down or penalize him some other way, like in other racing games. This is what makes the penalty system in this game very useless. Often, clowns that understand that are entering random races and crash into everyone in the first corner just for fun. You can check other videos on my channel for reference. Well, this next point is kind of a default tendency of all online games nowadays, so I won't comment a lot on that. It just wonders me how expensive some of the skins are while being very basic. Codemasters even sell stickers of fake sponsors for in-game currency. In my opinion, it would be really cool if they would have a built-in tool for creating your custom Formula 1 car liveries, 
like in Gran Turismo Sport for example. To conclude, although the new F1 2021 multiplayer is very buggy and often really annoying, if you already own the game, it's probably worth trying. Despite the fact that it still kind of sucks, it is a pretty good improvement from the previous games and I hope that this tendency will continue with the upcoming F1 games. Thanks for watching.